It was the perfect day to be outside today. Of course, now what? We've got a little bit of rain, but can't yeah. have sunshine without You'll rain. You have to wipe right? off your new patio furniture. I know. <laughs> I brought it all inside. I put it together, and oh. I was like, I don't even want this to go you in the rain yet. You were taking my forecast seriously. <laughs> yeah. A few little sprinkles in your patio furniture. I think you can sit outside here tomorrow, Kelsey. Uh, Weather-wise, we are looking at some better weather in here for the day tomorrow. We talked about that switch over from sun to some showers here. Your almanac today, 76 degrees, so we blew past the average high once again. Yesterday, we were above average, and today, above average once again. So take a look at your forecast here. We have some evening showers. They're crossing on through, I would say, for the next hour or two hours. You may get a few hundredths of an inch of rain. We're talking about like 0 0.03, 0 0.04, and then it's out of here if you're lucky. And then tomorrow we get a really nice day back to work, back to school, sunshine, temperatures near 80 degrees. Next round of showers looks like late Monday evening through the day on Tuesday, cooler day on Tuesday with that easterly wind. And then beautiful stretch of weather Wednesday through Friday. We may even carry that in to parts of next weekend. Thanks to Dr. John and the Mats over at the Asthma and Allergy Specialists of Maryland. Moderate tree count in terms of your pollen, but the grass pollen continues to be very high uh, this evening. So if you're feeling the allergies, it's probably the grass out there right now. Showers moving through the area. As you can see, these are not heavy. Just green on the radar just means some sprinkles to wet the ground. And that storm system really losing its momentum. So it will be out of here by 9 o'clock this evening. Taking a look at the big picture here, though, we will have another storm system come on through here Monday evening, which is tomorrow evening, obviously, into Tuesday morning. We're in this what we call northwesterly flow. So these storm systems are in and out of here pretty quickly. So you can see the best shot of showers here in the next hour or two hours. And then that shot for showers really drops off tonight. And with some patchy clearing, we'll get some patchy fog in here, but a really mild overnight down to 60 degrees. Tomorrow up to 79 degrees. A northerly wind means the humidity nice and low, but it will be a nice, comfortably warm day with high temperatures near 80. This is how tomorrow plays out. As you can see, upper 60s here through 10 o'clock in the morning. Just a light spring jacket in the morning hours and in the afternoon. You're all good with temperatures at or around 80 degrees for much of our Beltway communities. Tracking that next chance of showers and storms. This is Monday evening, Monday night. I think the O's game is fine here tomorrow evening, but overnight tomorrow night and into Tuesday morning, you're going to see some showers and storms, and you're also going to see some cooler weather, and you're going to see that here in your seven day forecast. So looking at that seven day forecast, near 80 tomorrow, really good looking day. Should be good for the O's game here tomorrow evening. Tuesday, a little touch and go. Looks like the best shot for showers is in the morning hours, so they may be able to squeeze the game in fine here in the evening hours. 65 degrees, 71 on Wednesday. And let's get out of the way so you can see all you moms planning for next Sunday. Looks like some late day storms, but brunch looks pretty good right now with temperatures right around 80 degrees. Kelsey? All right, Steve, thank you. So